What's up guys, in this video I got some pretty exciting news for you guys regarding the Verizon iPhone 2011. If you guys have been following any type of technology website including my website, Engadget, Gizmodo, the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, you probably know that many 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 sites and companies are actually giving us pretty solid evidence that the Verizon iPhone will be released on January 11th, 2011, Tuesday. Um, I am filming this video on January 10th, 2011, which is Monday, and I just wanted to give you guys um, my thoughts on what you should expect to be released and um, what I think will be released and what probably will happen at this Verizon event tomorrow, January 11th. Um, as many of you guys know, before I start the video, the Verizon iPhone has been pretty much being waited on by the public for three years ever since it's been released. Many people just don't like AT&T and many people have been waiting for Verizon on the iPhone, uh, for the iPhone. And now we are pretty much 100% sure that the Verizon iPhone will be released tomorrow. If it's not, it's going to be a huge shocker as many, excuse me, and I mean many companies are actually saying it's going to be released. So pretty much it's going to be released. Otherwise, every single company is going to be wrong, which I doubt will happen. So we pretty much have confirmed evidence it's going to be released tomorrow. Um, we are unsure of whether or not Steve Jobs will be at the conference because that is just the way that he likes to roll. If the Verizon iPhone is actually released by Verizon tomorrow, I would assume Steve would actually be at the conference because he likes to release his products himself. Um, with Verizon. So both Verizon and Steve Jobs would probably be there tomorrow to release the iPhone. Um, if Steve Jobs is not there, I would assume the Verizon iPhone may not be released. Um, but I think that Steve will be there, and I do think it's going to be released. In terms of design, um, I would expect the Verizon iPhone to have the exact same design as the iPhone 4 does now, except um, they will have eliminated the antenna issues. The little line that you find along the outside, the two little receptors, one in the upper right and one in the upper left, in the lower left corner, that were causing all of Apple's antenna issues with the iPhone earlier in 2010, will probably be eliminated because Apple wants to fix those issues, and also they are making a different type of antenna for the Verizon iPhone because it's a different type of carrier. Um, so that's pretty much the design. I would expect literally the exact same thing with just a new antenna fix. They're not going to release a new iPhone 5. They're going to save that for this summer of 2011. Um, so it's going to be the same iPhone, just with Verizon service. Um, in terms of the network itself, I am unsure if the Verizon iPhone is going to be released on 4G or 3G um, because Verizon recently upgraded to the 4G LTE. I would expect it to be 3G just for now. Um, until later this summer when iPhone when Apple releases the iPhone 5, um, simply because the 4G is very, very new, and I doubt AT&T or Apple would release a new version of the iPhone without AT&T having it as well. So I would expect it to be 3G, but I could be wrong. They could upgrade the iPhone to 4G on Verizon. We will have to wait and see. Um, in terms of pricing, I would expect the exact same um, price as the Verizon, or AT&T iPhone, um, however, there is one quirk in terms of rumors that's going around that many, many sites are actually saying that the Verizon iPhone will have unlimited data or offer unlimited data, which is a huge dig at AT&T because AT&T currently only has two gigabytes, I believe, which um, some people may actually go over the cap and having unlimited data really helps out with that. So I've heard that they will have that option, but again, we will have to wait and see. Um, and yeah, pretty much that's the Verizon iPhone 2011. Um, it's supposed to be released on January 11th, 2011, which is tomorrow, as I said before. Um, I will be making an update video tomorrow, and I will be updating live as much as I can throughout the day from Twitter about the Verizon iPhone. So don't forget to subscribe and rate thumbs up so you don't miss my update video on the Verizon iPhone when it actually is released tomorrow. As well as, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and visit my website for any other updates regarding the Verizon iPhone that I have throughout the day, besides the videos on my YouTube channel here. And also, don't forget to like me on Facebook um, in general. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'm really excited about the Verizon iPhone. You should be too. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully it'll be the Verizon iPhone review. Peace.